Hi everyone! So today I am finally filming part two of deep cleaning my bathroom and I am going to just get into it because um, it's I think kind of a big job. Um, so let me set you guys down and we'll get started. So here's my bathroom cabinet. As you can see, it's very small. So I'm going to declutter it as best as I can. And I'm also going to raise, this is what I was saying here. I'm pulling everything out, starting with my towels. And I'm gonna raise probably two of these shelves so that I can fit more towels. So you'll see just how much stuff is in this cabinet in a short period of time. As I start pulling everything out, it starts to grow. So that's two shelves down, two to go. I got rid of a lot of stuff that had expired. Anything that I couldn't see an expiration date for, I just got rid of. These two bottles, I'm saying I need to label because I don't remember what was in them. Maybe there's peppermint oil and water in that one. And now I'm moving my wax supplies. If we talk about anything, girl, let's talk about us. I was looking at this little bottle trying to see if it had an expiration date. Here I'm just putting out a new tube of toothpaste. I'm finally getting to that top shelf, almost ready to start cleaning it out. That little cabinet holds quite a bit of stuff. So next, I'm just talking about what's in my cleaning caddy. I've got a scrubber brush, duster, towels, 
gloves, glass cleaner, barkeep cleanser. And here I have an old toothbrush and I used this to get into like hard corners, nooks and crannies, but also to agitate where there's any dust. So that way I can vacuum it up really quickly. So now I'm starting to get underneath the sink. I have a lot of cleaning supplies under the sink. And that brush that's sitting on the counter is a really good brush to use to agitate any dust that you can vacuum up really, really easily afterwards. Here's my sweet Monty taking a nap. Here I'm showing that I'm using Lysol all-purpose spray and the mango hibiscus scent. Now I'm going to wipe down all the shelves and possibly move, I believe, that one that I'm cleaning right there and then the one above it up maybe two rungs. Do you have special clothes, certain clothes that you wear to clean? This t-shirt or tank top. I've had obviously for a long time, but I like it because it's thinned out enough where it's not warm. So it's easy, flowy, especially for doing a job like this. So I couldn't move this shelf out of the cabinet, so I had to sort of prop it up on its side at an angle to move the little, I forget what they're called, but they're like little pins 
So I was able to move them on the left, then I pushed it up on the right so that I could move the two little pins on that side. Now I'm being in, bringing in the big guns. I had to go and get a rubber mallet just to get those two pins on the right side in. So now I'm starting to put everything back in the cabinet and I have more room you'll see in a minute where I'm able to put about nine towels easily. So now I'm just quickly vacuuming the floor and this is the only floor in the house that has tile and I do not like tile at all. Grout gets dirty easily, it's hard to clean, it's just a very hard surface. I really like our hardwood floors that we have in the rest of the house, they're actually bamboo. We have two bloodhounds and they're brothers, so you'll see them here and there. We leave the front door open so that way they can come and go as they please. So usually they'll go run outside, play, then they'll come in and take a nap. So far you've seen Montgomery, in a bit you'll see Humphrey. Now I'm going to clean under the sink. I'm taking everything out so that I can clean the shelf and then I'll put everything back and declutter as I go. So here I'm talking about these dryer sheets. They work really well to clean surfaces like the back of the toilet bowl. Um, they really pick up dust and dirt 
easily. It really makes quick work of it. And it's just a good use of those dryer sheets, especially if you're trying to go maybe get rid of them. You don't want to use them with your clothes anymore. This is a great way to use them for cleaning. Now I'm putting everything back and I was able to consolidate and declutter so it looks a lot better under there. So I'm wrapping it up. I'm almost done. Thank you again for taking time out of your day to spend with me. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them below in the comments section. Have a good day.